Hi, welcome to Physics with Ben. In today's video, I intend to explain the new wired GCE hybrid physics alternative to practicals. If you are sitting for wired GCE this year, you need to watch this video till the very end to pass your exams. So stay tuned and watch this video till the very end. This is the first time we are having a hybrid physics alternative to practicals. How does it look like? The hybrid physics alternative to practicals will be projected on the screen for you to see, observe and record your values. Now we are having like three types of experiments. The real experiment that is performed in the physics lab, the alternative to practical that is printed on paper for you to use some measuring tools like the Tartician rule, the protractor. These exams, you are going to write it with just your pen and your paper and if possible, you, if you require to plot a graph, that is when you have to use your ruler and the other stuff. Now, I have done all the experiments on my channel. In this video link, in the description box below, you will click and you will see video links on the real experiment that is performed in the physics lab. You also see videos on alternative to practicals. And this particular video is to explain what the hybrid exams will look like. I have gone through uh, videos on YouTube, but I have not seen anybody explaining the hybrid physics exams. And I deem it fit to produce these videos for you guys. So watch and share this video to those that need it. Also, don't forget to subscribe and share this video to those that need it. So let's get to the business of the day. Now, if you're wondering the practical book that I am using, I have advertised this author here on my channel, The Master Practical Physics. It's a very good for alternative to practicals. You may click in the description box below to find the name of the author and also how to contact the author to get your copy. I scan these documents for educational purpose only. And... I mean not to infringe the copyrights of this author. So in the description box below, you find the details of the author to contact the author to get your copies. So what is the hybrid exams all about? The hybrid exam will look like this. I, I, thought, I thought about it and I was asking how will it look like? And after considering that they said the hybrid exam will be projected on the screen, on your computer screen for you to see, on your smartphone for you to see, then this is how the exam will look like. Now, this is a typical alternative to particles. In this one here, you have to physically place the meter rule and find the... the and find the degrees the meter rule the zero point of the meter rule will be aligned where the zero point is here and you will have to measure it all the way to this place and whatever you get there you have to convert it to to this scale one scale is representing two degrees celsius so it means that if you measure from zero here down to down to q naught and your answer i mean what what you see on your meter rule is a 10 cm, you are going to say 10 cm, you are going to say 10 cm times 2 degrees Celsius. So your answer will be 20 degrees Celsius. That is the meaning of 1 cm represents 2 degrees Celsius. Good. Now, in this case, you will have to physically place the meter rule here. Now, for the hybrid exams, you aren't going to place the meter rule physically on this because they are not going to give you these papers physically 
I heard them saying you will be provided answer booklets where you will observe and record what you observe in the answer booklet. Now, in every physics experiment, be it the real experiment in the physics lab, the alternative to practicals, which I have produced videos on, you can find it in the description box below, and also this hybrid physics alternative to practical that is just introduced not too long ago. And you guys will be the first series that will have to do this. And it is in light of this that I deem it fit to produce this video for us to watch. Now, I, I scan this particular page here. And then the next page that you're going to see is a page of how the hybrid exam will look like. Follow me down. Let's go. Good. You will see that this page, I have attached a meter rule to it. This is exactly how the hybrid exam will look like, I suppose. Now, I, I was careful enough to physically place this meter rule on this, and I, I was careful enough to put, put the outline. You can see that my meter rule is uh, aligning, the zero CM is aligning with the zero on the thermometer, such that you see we have one we have two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen now if you read carefully q naught is on what q naught is on this is 13 13.1 13.2 is on 13.1 13.15 q1 is on 13.15 so what are you going to record in your table of values 13.15 times the square they say 1 cm to represent 2 degrees Celsius so 13.15 times 2 degrees Celsius whatever you get is your answer and that is what you are going to record in your degree convert in your Q convert you're gonna have a column where you have the you have the serial number you have the time taken for this temperature to rise to Q naught, and then a column for Q naught convert. Good. But before you do that, you have to read through the instructions carefully. And this is the instructions for the experiment. You have to go through this just the way I have done all the videos on alternative to practicals. The pattern is the pattern remains the same. The only thing that is the, that is changing here is that every experiment that has to do with measurement or of using meter rule to measure, you aren't going to use a, a meter rule physically to place on the paper. But the meter rules will be attached beside it for you to measure. And this is also how IGCS equations look like. They will give you a question and they will attach a meter rule on it for you to find the measurements. I hope this is well understood. So let's look at point uh, Q1. Q1, and don't forget, they, those guys will do this better than what you see me projecting on the screen here. So let's look at Q1 closely. Q1, this is 13. Uh, we have 13.5. 0.6, 0 0.7. So Q1 is on 13.7. That is, it is 13, 13.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7. Q1 is on 13.7. So 13.7 times 2 degrees Celsius. Whatever answer you get, you will have to record that answer. And so that is how everything will look like. So at the end of the day, you're going to have a table of value that look like this. Next up, let us look at another experiment. This is optics. This is optics. And this is the diagram for the experiment. And this is the uh, experimental instruction, all the instructions to the experiment. You have to read through this the way I have taught you guys to generate 
table of values in all the experiments is the same way here. You go through this. Now, this is how the paper will look like physically. You have to place your meter rule here physically. The zero end at your left hand side and then the other, the other end will face the, the right hand side. But then since it is a hybrid exam that will be projected on the screen for you to watch, this is not how it will come. It will come with a ruler attached to it. You have to physically place the ruler like this. That is for the real experiment. So this was what I did. I placed the ruler and I was able to do the outline. And then the next stuff you will see is this. Good. This is what I did. This is what I did. This is how the hybrid exam should look like. I am just supposing because I have not seen any video on it, but this is exactly what I suppose it will look like. Now, you're going to take your reading. Reading for C1 and reading for S1. You can see that here you have an increase-decrease trend. S1 is decreasing. S is decreasing to the left. YC is increasing to the right. That is the trend of the experiment. So here, let us read our let us read our values. On your table of values, what and what are you going to have? You're going to have serial number. You're going to have um, C I. Then you're going to also have S I. I means number one, two, three, four, five. The experiment was performed five times. Good. Now, the meter rule was rightly placed. Then you have the calibrations from one, two, from the left, you have one, we are reading C values now. You have one, two, three, four. Then C1 is exactly on 4.5. So you record 4.5 under C, C1. Then if you if you travel down, C2 is on what? C2 is on is on 6.5, 6.6. C2 is on 6.6. So how do you record it? You record 6.60. C1 you record 4.50. C2 you record 6.60. How about C3? C3 is exactly on this 8.5, 6, 7.8. C3 is exactly on 8.8. .8. You record 8.80. And then you travel down to C4. C4 is exactly on 11. So you record 11.00. How about C, C5? C5 is, is, uh, is at, this is 13, 13.1.2. C5 is at exactly 13.2. So you record 13.20. Do you have to convert anything here? Let's look at the bottom of this. Good. Look at this. You have scale. 1 cm is to represent 5 cm. So you're going to have a column for C convert and also S convert. So that any value you get here, you times it by 5. Good. So this is all about... Um, Experiment where you have to use the meter rule. Another one is this one. And I'm not going to waste time here. That is exactly what I did. This I placed the ruler to find the calibration uh, aligning with the readings. And then the next stop was that I, I did this. This is what I did. So you can help me go through this and find the readings. This is the readings for S. And then the readings for for L1, for L, the readings for S, and then the readings for L. Uh, I have attached uh, the document that you are going through in the description box below. And you will click in and request for it, and then I will send it to you through your email. The document that I have projected here, you can find the full document in the description box below and you will get it and practice, uh, project this on your screen and practice the hybrid physics examination. Now, for experiment that looks like this, this is electricity experiment. This ones, they will remain exactly the way they have been before. There's nothing here. You don't need to use any ruler here. You just have to go through it and just do your reading. 
here you have 0 to 0 0.1, 0 0.5. So in between you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 0 0.5 divided by 5 gives you the, the, the calibration, gives you the value for each little, I mean, small, small calibration. And so you take your reading in that order. This is Ohm's law. When the, when the voltage is increasing, the current is also increasing. Here you have an increase, increase trend, a direct proportionality. That is exactly what you have. Then, experiment like this will also remain the same. You don't need to use any ruler here, so this one will come exactly the way it is if they are going to set any question of this nature. Here, the value that you're going to record down is 1 ohm. R1 is 0 ohm. No, no resistance in R1. All the box are shaded. So there's zero resistance in R1. You have 1 ohm in R2. So how do you record? R1 is 0 0.00. R2, 1.00. R3, 2.00 in that order. So this is the hybrid exam. This is my computer. And this is how the exam will be projected to you. You just look at it through the screen and then be recording on your paper or your answer booklets. I wish you guys success. Don't forget to share this video to those that need it. Click in the description box below to find the videos, uh, the video link on the re-experiment and on alternative to physics practicals. And then the one you are watching is titled Hybrid Physics Alternative to Practicals. So I wish you guys success. Bye-bye and God bless you.